What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Miss Live 3D TV, back at you with another video. So, I'm coming to y'all with this video because Tasha K is about to have everybody knocking down her door because she is at her shenanigans again. Now, she was on the internet and she was talking about all this stuff that's going on, of course, with the trans women and the real women. We're going to get into that topic in another video. But, yes, man, she was burning up. Armand Wiggins, Lovely T, and Daytime TV. I love everybody. I love Tasha. I love all the black content creators. So it's a little frustrating to see everybody into it, but baby, it's juicy too. So y'all get into this, and y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out. I'm not trying to tell you not to be Maddie fans, but what I have a problem with is that Maddie, I don't ever see speaking up for the, for the disrespect that black women go through. Now, she disrespected me to my face. And I didn't see it till it aired. I gave her the exclusive on what happened after my case, right? She let Sophia do a segment before my segment was coming on. And Sophia talked about bloggers that were liars. Yeah, these blogs just be lying. And they need, to, they need to go to jail. They need to do this. They need to do that. And it was on for about 15 minutes, right? <laughs> Maddie ain't going to take it to your face that she got a problem with. She'll let somebody else do it. She want to always try to remain neutral. But then she'll send shots when she feels it's safe. So I've already peeped. I've already peeped how she works. You see what I'm saying? And when she, we had conversations here and there, you know, between that. I was keeping it cordial, keeping it cute. Keeping it cute. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, y'all would say, oh, Tasha K falls out with content creators. But let's ask why we falling out, though. I can go down a list. A.W. That, I think that was, no, Lovely T. Lovely T and I had planned to do a story. Me and her were very close. She got a call the same way I got a call. I kept it business with that person. I said, hey, if you want to address this this way, you can do it this way because this is my platform at the end of the day. She got a call and separated herself from me. Didn't take the calls no more. And even gave other content creators shit to put out on me. Like, it was the, but I spent hours, this girl would call me so fucking much with so much shit. And I'm like, I've never seen anybody be so emotionally draining like this. And it's hard for Shaq not to like a motherfucker. But Shaq was like, this girl is too much. I can see why she's single. Like, to YouTube, shit. And then we had planned to do stories, and then she got, and I think it was the first time a celebrity had ever reached out to her. And so th this particular celebrity told her whatever she told her, she decided to separate. That's cool. That's cool. But then when you throwing shots on your videos and, you know, throwing shots using other creators, and I'm, I'm a hood bitch. Y'all have to understand that it took a while for me to evolve into a corp the corporate bitch that I am now. So y'all still got to give me some time. Pass. Then we got uh, the, 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 the gay boy. Oh my God, I'm such a fan. Oh my God, I'm such a fan. I'm such a. Da, 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 da. Can you help me with my channel? Oh my God, I look up to you. Cool. I introduced him to everybody that was in my circle. Shit, helped them with his video. Everything. Motherfucker had 500 subscribers. Then I made a video. It was, just, it was the weirdest shit. I made a video. Now, I would spend time with him on the phone, helping him with his content and the curated and to give him interviews and all types of shit, right? Threw the Sabies at him. He gonna come and tell me that I stole a Dr. Sabi interview and I sent the motherfuckers to him to do the, I would do the big interviews. I'm the big blogger. How you gonna do the big interview? You, can't, you ain't got no money to fly him in. And they wanna do the I was like, what, they fucking fucking kidding me right now? But they always whining. And they, and they repeat themselves until you be like, oh my God, like it must be true. It must be true, right? And, and then I, I made Shaq edited the video and put some gunshots in it or some bombs, I don't know. He was like, she stole my bombs. Then he got drunk on live and I was like, what did you just say? Now, I, I'm a hood bitch. I went to him, I was like, yo, what's this? I'm so sorry, you are so, I, that was so fucked up. I should not throw shade of you. It, it, it's more of an invitation, you know, I'm so sorry, but please don't unfollow me, please don't unfollow. I said, no, 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 no. I told you how I work. If I see some slick shit, we're done. 
We're done. I don't have to take time for my family or what I'm doing to help you. I don't owe you nothing. Any content creator out here, ask them, what have they done for Tasha? Nothing. Motherfucker been on the internet for years with the same shit. And the only time that channel is moving is when, because Tasha K started it, Tasha K keep it going. You coming back to my, I got an epic exclusive. Bitch, we already interviewed that hoe. And look, <laughs> you're always going to come behind me until I say, guess what? No more. You understand what I'm saying? So, who else? In the daytime, tea time, same shit. Same shit. Where is she now? Can't see her face, those crooked ass motherfucking teeth. But guess who she with? They all link up together. It's like every time I, I, I dis, you know, I, I put them to the side because they just form wo coalitions for to go against Tasha K. That's cool. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? I roll solo. You don't ever see me getting online with nobody to fight my battles. I don't even bring my husband into the shit. I'm just that gangster. 